My name is Matteo Durfeld and I am the general contractor for the Austrian Passive House in, in Whistler, British Columbia. This house is the certainly the first passive house in, in Whistler. Uh, my understanding is that this house is the first passive house in registered passive house in Canada. The project was born out of partnership. A group of Austrian companies and passive house builders recognized the opportunity to build a passive house that would be Austria House during the 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games. The Essentia Passive House would be what we would in Canada perhaps call a net zero energy house. It's really difficult to build an energy efficient house if the house is not airtight. So essentially we're going to super insulate this house and, and there are many, many ways you can insulate. We can insulate with styrofoam, we can insulate with fiberglass. It's, it's really just important that it is super insulated. Together they worked with the resort municipality of Whistler to see what location might work, what designs would be most suitable, and what the partnership would entail. Orientation of the house is going to be important, south facing is important. You'll notice on this house all the windows are facing or the bulk of the windows are facing south. When we go inside and look at the north, we will hardly find an opening. Interest in passive house technology increased. How did they build a building that could maintain a comfortable climate without active heating or cooling? We're dealing with a whole new building science, if you will. And where we would start with every house, we start with a foundation. We've set the house on a product that comes from Germany, which is an EPS, it's essentially a styrofoam, and expanded polystyrene, technically. This form sits on a bed of sand, and we would then have the second layer that would interconnect, so the whole thing is locked together. Now we can pour, put our steel in here, our reinforcing steel, and pour 10 inches of concrete, or whatever the engineers require. It showcased passive technology, sustainable, energy efficient building. It showcased partnership. When Worcester was considering the opportunities of hosting the 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games, we thought very much about how we could showcase and use the games as a way to talk about sustainability, new uh, designs in energy efficiency and buildings. This is one great example. The Austria Passive House Group has made this offer to Whistler and we're thrilled about what they've given us. When uh, we were approached uh, to contribute along with the Resort Municipality of Whistler and Austria to uh, lasting legacy for the community, uh, for two associations, both uh, the Whistler Nordic Club and uh, Warka, we thought that it was a great fit and a compelling opportunity to, uh, to be involved. Building community and using the 2010 Winter Games as a platform for the future. My name is uh, John Block. I am the current president of Warka. Warka is the Whistler Off-Road Cycling Association. We've uh, been a club for 20 years and we've uh, never had a real base to uh, call home and we're really excited. Einen wunderschönen guten Abend vom Österreichhaus in Wissler nach Innsbruck. Mein Name ist Helene Perndl. Ich bin einer der Projektkoordinatoren des Passivhauses hier in Wissler. Austria Passive House will be used as Austria Nation House during the 2010 Winter Olympic Games. Uh, it will host the Austrian Olympic Committee and also the Austrian broadcaster, the OF. They will have their studio up here and there will be food and drink. So please come by and be our guest. <laughs>